Here I have Samsung Galaxy A5 2016 and let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following device, so how to activate this phone. At the very beginning let's start of course from the welcome panel. Here we have full list of the available languages that you can use on this device. In my case let me choose English for instance from United States. If you are ready let's simply choose start right here. Then you can connect your device to some Wi-Fi. This is the list of available Wi-Fi's that you can use on this device. It's not necessary, you can bypass this step by choosing next, but it's always a good feature to have an internet connection. So let me do it. Let me co connect to my Wi-Fi. Tap connect. Let's input the password if you have one, if not let's just wait until the device checked the connection. And if everything is alright let's choose next. Here you have some legal stuff, terms and conditions on the following device. You can read the following information or simply tap next. Tap agree, agree to the following conditions. The phone is looking for any updates, let's just wait a few seconds and now you have to decide either you would like to copy your Google account, apps and data from one of your other devices or you can set up your device as a new so you can have a fresh start. So let me do it in that way, so in order to do it let's choose no thanks and tap next. At this point of the process you can add a Google account to your device. It's also not necessary, you can skip this point by using the skip button in that corner. But adding a Google account enables you some interesting features, so let me do it. You can create a new Google account by using that link or use your older one by inputting your email or a phone, so let me do it. Tap next. Now you have to enter your password. Let me do it. Wait a few seconds. Choose next. If everything is alright, you have to accept terms of services and privacy policy of your Google account. So let me do it. The device is checking info. And now we can change some features of Google services. You can enable or disable automatically backup device data, use Google's location services to help apps, improve location accuracy and help improve your Android experience. Let me leave all of these features enabled and simply tap next. Now the phone is asking you to set up payment information. You don't have to do it, you can bypass this step by choosing no thanks and tapping continue. If you have correct date and time settings, choose next. You can set up another email or just use your email from your Google account. So let me choose not now to the following operations. And now you can protect your phone by using a finger pin, pin, pattern or password or simply choose no thanks to go next without any protection. In my case let me choose for example set up pin, pattern or password, let's tap next. Let me select pattern. You have to draw your unlock pattern, let me do it, tap continue and choose confirm by inputting your pattern one more time. Let's set up backup pin. You have to decide which pin you would like to use. Let's choose the form of notifications. So we can select display options for notification on the lock screen. You have the following options, show content, hide content or don't show notifications at all. Let me choose the first one and tap next. Tap next one more time. Here you have the information about fingerprints, you can use it or you can do it later in settings, so let me tap later. Mm -hmm. 
Then you can restore your apps and data from one of your older devices connected to your Google account. Here you have the list of your older devices. You can choose one of the following ones or you can choose don't restore to set up device without any apps and data. Let me do it. Let me go previous and as you can see here you can add a Samsung account to your phone. You don't have to do it, you can bypass this step by choosing that arrow right here and by tapping skip. So let me do it that way without any Samsung account. Tap next to weather information. Here you have the tutorial about easy mode. You can enable easy mode right now or you can tap next. Here you have details about my knocks. Let me tap finish. And that's it. As you can see, the home screen just pops up in front of you. So it simply means that you activate your device and you can start to use your phone. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.